Hi again, Bob Brockway here on July 27th, 2011. Now this is part two of the construction of the uh, paper lifters. It was a few items I left out that I really kind of want to mention. And uh, the tape was so long, and not only that, I forgot to mention them. Well, this is the completed paper lifter that I was showing on video one on construction of the lifters. I made a mistake. I got the angle wrong for the top cone. It's supposed to be 10, ended up 15. It doesn't matter. I can still use it. It's just not what I was shooting for. But this is this is it, and it's trimmed out form. And uh, as you can see, I've got the uh, I've got the uh, diameter, the date, the degrees, and this weighs in at two grams. So it's very light. I've learned to make them lighter. Uh, now the chambers will lift up as a rule. They'll lift up to. 8 grams with no problem and they will lift up to 20 grams but only on the big uh, <clears throat> on the larger uh, Van de Graaff. The Wimhers won't do it. But what I wanted to do is to show you on how I complete these uh, on the uh, on the uh, paper core ones or any core you choose I I use I like I said a toenail clipper to trim these down because I make sure that the paper tubes or whatever center core you're using is much longer than you your finished what you want in a finished form and then just trim them and these are trimmed and the other thing that I didn't mention I have mentioned it in my other videos is that I like to, well, I have found out that by rolling the perimeter or the circumference, that's why there's a slight, this is like an eight, this is approximately an eighth inch overlap between the bottom cone and the top cone, which bottom cone fits inside and it's glued. But I take this is a window screen for applying the bead. Well, it's got a two edge, a two groove side on one wheel and a rounded one. And I take the rounded wheel, and you can use any device, and I just simply hold it in my hand. I'm being left handed, and I, I put it on a piece of hardboard, cardboard, hardboard, and I roll it all the way around. I go around like this. Not harsh, just keep going until you go around. And I do this about twice. I go around it twice and it rolls the edge down. And it has two, I found out it's nice for two things. For one thing, it gives it rigidity. If you bump the edge, it doesn't fold the paper over or bend it. It has a little more resistance to that. And another thing I found out to my surprise, is that they lift easier. You can try it yourself. You leave one without a rolled down edge, and you make it the same dimension and try one with a rolled down edge, and I I will I am sure you will see that the rolled down edge lifts much easier. Why? I'm not exactly sure. Of course it you have the ions that are concentrated on a circumference and it pushes them apparently it directs them it redirects the ions it doesn't affect the field but it sure does the ions and that seems to works in a positive way as far as lifting goes all right there was one more thing I wanted to show and that completes that you can use any center core you choose and if you don't want to make a paper one you can use a, 
straw, a plastic straw. These, but they have to be large enough to fit over your support shaft. This happens to be out of them. In this country, we call it a milkshake. Even in this country, they call them fraps. But they're they're larger than like a, a soda straw. So you just have to have have to uh, hunt around, and they do come in different sizes. And uh, next time you go out to the fast food, just uh, get an extra couple because yeah, they you don't use very much when you're done. So, anyways, that's another option. And by the way, I found out they, they really they they work well. They really do, and, and they're light, and they're strong for their for their weight and the strength ratio is excellent. Okay, now I what I did uh, between this video I'm making now and the first video is I cut out another one. And built another lifter to the right specs that I was trying to do in the first place. This bottom came out good, but over here I'm going to show you uh, the humidity's dropped enough, and uh, we're going to show you how it works. I hope. Here in a second. There we are. I'm going to. I'm going to uh, get over here to the Wimhurst and uh, I'm going to back this thing out a little bit so you can see. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. There. That's not too shabby. Maybe I should be able to see this work. All right. Now there. Now this is the this unit that's on in the lifting chamber. Let me get scooted around here. Is the one that I was shooting for. Now I just finished this one. I built this after I made that first video. But the difference being is that this is a little bigger diameter. This is actually a six and one quarter inch diameter. But it's all finished out. It's got a paper core and its edges are rolled down. And I put it in a lot. This is a. I think it's. I think it's 10 inch. I think. I think it's 10 inch top plate and a 3 inch bottom plate. But it doesn't matter as long as it's not larger. See, I can't. This being six and a quarter, believe it or not, will not work in, let's say, a smaller open chamber that's six inch top plate. But you can see that it lifts just fine. See, it reaches the top, and it discharges, and it drops back down. And uh, the humidity is kind of high, and it's going up. It's around 62.3%. But you can see that it operates just fine. If I go nice and easy, I can get it to hover between the plates, maybe. Look, there. It, that's the fun thing to do. Wait till after it gets dark and I'll shut all the lights out. I'll see what kind of a pattern I get on at St. Elmo's. That's always fun and interesting. There, it's lifted now. It's that one. Point. Now, it is lifting its maximum lift because it's exactly lifting three and an eighth inches. I checked this, and that happens to be the radius of the die of the <clears throat> that's half the diameter or the radius of the lifter and I have found that rule to be true uh, no matter what size lifter you build I'm going to discharge that I want to also show something else here real quick and get this thing apart like this that's what I like about the open chambers. I can change things. I wanted to show you. I mentioned it in my other videos. And I'm going to put it on upside down. I am going to, and I've mentioned it, You, they will not lift upside down. Uh, watch it make a liar out of me. But there you go. 
You see, it won't lift. It'll hold if you put it there. But will it come back up again? No, it won't. Because the shape is that important. That's what I'm stressing. It's the angle of the two cones, and that is why the top cone should never be greater than 20 degrees. I and the bottom should never be less than 20 degrees. And you can make them as steep as you want. You can make them, and I have some, and you've seen, I have it on videos. In fact, I got some you haven't seen that are almost eight inches tall. The cone is so long. But they lift great. It's just big. Uh, well, that, well, that'll about do it. Here, I'll put it back on. It's normal what I consider the top, up, right side up, if you want to call it that. And uh, we'll see what happens. There she goes. She takes right off. Uh, now, see? Now there it'll stay. It's hovering now. I call it hovering between the plates. It's about a half inch to three quarters inch from the top plate, a couple inches off the bottom. It'll just stay there. And that's what you want to see in the dark, too. That's when you get the biggest display of St. Elmo's fire. And, and it's very neat to see. Okay. That is it. And uh, that'll take care of construction. And I just wanted to prove to you that the one, and that's the one I just built, like we, on the, from tape one, and it works. Talk to you later.